Yo, what's up guys? Today I've got another 8kg haul for you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to check my Instagram and my TikTok in my link in bio. All links will be in my spreadsheet. First up, we have the KX badge, Jordan Force. Right now, I'm in between testing badges to see which one is the best for your budget. And I can tell you, these ones are nearly perfect. Only the leather is too tumbled, but that doesn't really matter because nobody will see it. Back tap pops up just as it needs to be. And the tongue is very puffy. The netting is slanted and the suede looks amazing. These were only $42, which is amazing. I give these an 8 out of 10. Unfortunately, the leather is a bit too tumbled for me, but still a very good score. Up next, you have this $3 Prada chain. As you can see, all the branding is on it, as it's supposed to be. I did see someone complaining about it having lead, but I have yet to find out. My neck hasn't turned green yet, which is very good. For only $3, I give this a 10 out of 10. It's amazing. Up next, you have these $3 Cortez socks. I have worn them a few times, so don't worry about the plush. As you can see, they are very thick. These are probably the thickest socks I have. They have all the branding. I give these socks a 10 out of 10. I will definitely be buying more. Up next, you have this Prada puffer. This was only $71, which is very cheap for a puffer, especially if it's one to one. To my knowledge, I cannot see a single flaw. Correct me if I'm wrong. It has a special material on the outside. I can't really describe what it is, but it feels very good. And on the inside, it's satin, which is very nice on your skin. Here are the wash tags. Unfortunately, I broke the adjuster, which is my fault, but still, it's very annoying. I give this puffer a 10 out of 10. It's very amazing. It's warm and it's water repellent. Make sure to cop this. Up next, we have these $13 big boy pants. These run very big, so make sure to size down once. The logo doesn't seem too good to me, but that doesn't matter to me because my shirt will be hanging over it. They have the tags and also the pin. I give these a 7 out of 10. Unfortunately, the logo is not too good, but for the price, it's very nice. Up next, we have this Polo Zip Up. This was only $22, but you get what you pay for. As you can see, the logo is not very good. And the zipper is on the wrong side. It's also very thin on the inside, I don't know why. And the tags are wrong. Nobody has called me out yet, so I don't really care. But still, it's not a good purchase. I recommend going for another badge. I also bought a ring, but unfortunately, I do not have it in hand right now. Make sure to like, subscribe and go to my spreadsheet in bio and I will see you guys in the next video.